This is to show you the uh, vertebrae, um, how they articulate with each other, and the nerves arising in the intervertebral foramina. Let's say if this one, I'm not exactly sure, but I think that this vertebra is T3 and this vertebra is T4. Let's say that this is T3 and T4 vertebra. Okay. What about this nerve? What is the number of this nerve? Why do you say it's T4? Why not T3? So the nerves in the thoracic region, they are, um, arise below the vertebra, which is corresponding in number. So if this is T3 vertebra, then this one is T3 nerve. Okay. But in the cervical region, it is the opposite. For example, C1 nerve is above C1 vertebra. C2 nerve, this one, is above C2 vertebra, and so on. But once we reach the thoracic region, uh, then the nerve will arise below the corresponding vertebra in number. The, yes? Yes, so that's a very good question. The reason for that is related to the number of spinal nerves. So how many cervical spinal nerves do we have? This is vertebra and this is nerve. We have seven cervical vertebrae. And how many nerves? Anybody knows how many cervical nerves cervical spinal nerves we have you we have eight see so therefore if this is c7 vertebra then above it is c7 nerve and then below it is c8 nerve and then comes t1 vertebra below it is t1 nerve and so on the reason for that is at the junction, we have eight cervical nerves, but we have seven cervical vertebrae. The number of nerves, spinal nerves, does not correspond to the number of cervical vertebrae. But in the thoracic region, we have 12 by 12. In the lumbar, we have five by five. In the sacral, we have five by five. Okay, does this answer your question? Perfect, thank you. Thank you.